I'm giving myself five minutes. I'm Jason Hobbs. This is, well, you can read it. This is how I handle strategic planning. And this example is a local brick and mortar business. It's a restaurant. And this is an unresearched example one. So the goal is to grow this brand's digital experience. Okay. Now, the point of view, and I view it kind of like um, a big block of marble that you're going to chisel down to get the actual you know, statue. So we're starting out with people that go out, eat and live and work within 30 miles of the brick and mortar location. And the pressing problem is people like to be happy. They want good company, good food, good spirits, etc. Right. And they want it, you know, within they want it conveniently. Right. So some are going to want it conveniently at lunch, others at dinner, others, you know, dinner in late night on the weekends and et cetera. Right. So the solution is the brick and mortar experience. Let's be clear. They're still selling the experience of people walking in and dining there and hanging out at the bar and et cetera. And take, you know, take out from there or however. Um, the point, though, is it's all it's the same experience as currently like that's what we're selling we're not changing it but we are approaching it digitally right so access is again brick and mortar but we're adding a second part to that and what we're we're way i look at it is the website is or the web store is a reflection of the brick and mortar location in this instance it's a restaurant right oops so the value is the you know enjoyment revelry fun so what we want to do as far as the education means the educational message the communication style is going to be educational and the idea is we're going to do we're going to paint the picture of the brick and mortar experience you know and the idea is you know, some people, the ones that are going to come late night on the weekends, they're going to want to understand what's that experience like. The And then, you know, the other, the um, couple that lives next, you know, around the corner and, you know, they're going, they like to get, take the kids out to eat for, you know, dinner or, you know, whatever. They're going to have, they're, they're going to want to understand that experience. Are the kids going to be welcome? And, you know, is it going to be enjoyable is the food good you know we're painting that and then the same thing like if it's somebody that's ordering a bunch for the office they're going to want to understand you know what's that experience like am i going to wait forever and then it's cold and everybody's unhappy about it or is it you know that it's super easy and as soon as i'm there like i can pay you know online and i can just go in and pick it up and so that's the idea behind the messaging in my mind and this is once again unresearched this is just this is my system that i put together and honed and refined and iterated over the past well 10 years or so at least um but full time 100 percent since i graduated from valdosta state back in may of 2010. the foundation digital website now and this is like i said unresearched example i came across it because i connected with an individual that's with the restaurant on linkedin and i just had a poke at their website and it was on weebly and i was like ah, i would do this differently <laughs> and i was like you know let me go and just put this together real quick just let me kind of almost a brain dump, if you will, just knowing that, okay, understanding this is the business, then this is how I would do it, right? And so that's where this little demo there that you can see, and here's the actual demo. Um, and I took these off of the uh, Facebook page. So, and here's that website that I told you about. So here's the current one. And as you can see, you know, it doesn't have the ability to buy anything, but they do have their menu up. So that's helpful. And they made some changes on the bar menu and they listed those, so that's helpful as well. So here's the budget that I threw together for, oops. All right, let's see if I can get it under 10. <laughs> All right, so campaign number one, the budget that I threw together for this, it would be, you know, what you're looking at would be 89 bucks a month and then um, 500 for the first, hypothetical ad spend and we just put it all into facebook ads initially to build some brand awareness but you'll see as we get into it a little further um we'll actually get a little bit more uh we'll have be able to have multiple lines of communication into facebook and it's just such underpriced attention currently that 
especially when you're driving on, you know, locally to your location, it just makes sense. And you can even get into a lot of different, there's so much, we're just scratching, literally pinpricking the surface of what's possible in, in this one example I'm throwing out here. So, and, and I wanted to give you an example, like you're going to put together different audiences, right? And there's so many different ways you can make these up. Ideally, it's based off of them visiting your website or visiting your location. So in this instance, that's a wealth, a gold mine potentially, because if they can sync their POS system or CRM or whatever they're using currently with Facebook and then run heads off of it, and the fact that they already have, uh, I think it's thousands, right? Yeah, 2,970 and 2,952 are following it. So the, you can run ads off of that as well. So there's a lot of um, opportunity. There's going to be very underpriced attention. Um, and here's that Facebook page. So in, I wanted to just make it, what's the, the path of least resistance to get started? Well, it's automated Facebook ads and in this instance, you know, you basically give them the street address and then you they'll tell you that, you know, three bucks a day, 645 to 1280 people will be able to see this ad, which is going to have them get directions is the main call to action button there. And obviously this has my name on it and all because it's in my ad account because this is a hypothetical. <laughs> um, but it gives you some idea, you know, simple text. And the idea is that you're going to be able to, you know, drive people to your location. One thing that I did was just targeted, you know, 21 and over. And you'll see like that's 90 bucks a month. Maybe you want to do the five bucks a day and kind of push it a little bit more. You know, that's five, that's 150 out of the 500. So you still have plenty of other money that you can spend. And then, you know, this is, I threw together an event promotion, just an example. And it's just because I found this on their Facebook page that, you know, they had put this event flyer up, may not even been at, at the, the actual restaurant. So the other thing that I would do is connect. Um, the idea is you're wanting to get to know your customers over time. This is a customer intimacy thing. Right. So you're looking to marry these people. They live in your lo you know, local to you. You're not going to try and have them there every day, but you are going to try and contextually invite them when it, it makes sense for them. Right. So they have an anniversary or they have a birthday coming up and you let them know, you know, your business better than I do. <laughs> but the point is by taking and making sure that the information is shared. And what I mean by that is this is with Zapier. So like 20 bucks a month or whatever to get started with it. And you know, if you had the Facebook lead ads where they were giving you an email address, let's say that you're looking for, you know, people that do catering, right? And you're going to you're going to show some media to them on Facebook in an ad setup. And then they're going to identify themselves as interested by giving you their email address. What this would do is create a new lead and it would create a contact in Drift as well, which is the the community, the the intercom, so to speak, that I have set up for the digital experience for this. So you can see here and that's why it shows me. So all right, well ran through it oh and then you can also connect the pages right so they have a thriving facebook page so they can move those recommendations over and then in the back end that allows you within drift to be able to set up you know, potentially you could set up bots and so forth the bot playbooks but you can do email playbooks as well where you know, they're receiving maybe a discount or so many different it just depends on what your um, individual goal is that you started out with. And, you know, like I started this one out with a branding, you know, just a basic brand digital experience, just get that going, let start letting people know about it. So if you have questions, Jason at jasonhotsllc.com, I'm going to start doing some of these. Uh, I'm going to force myself because I already have a couple more. Uh, the Irwin Animal Clinic one should be here. I should, I'm hoping to be able to do it tomorrow. So, all right.